So let's take a, a look at the concept of visco supplements in osteoarthritis pain. Quite a novel, new and uh, really potentially exciting way to deal with the pain and lack of function caused by osteoarthritis for many patients. Now the first of these products several years ago was Hyalgan. Um, the one with the longest track record is probably Synvisc, certainly in the UK. Orthovisc and Duralane are once uh, only um, injections, the others are three or sometimes in fact even five times. Hyalgan for example needs five injections one week apart which makes it really quite impractical for use even in private practice. Now, of course there's nothing new about the concept of injections for painful osteoarthritic joints. Uh, steroid injections have been around for many years now. They have a pretty good track record, um, some concerns about infection or about um, further joint degeneration if the doses used are large, but by and large uh, they're pretty safe and pretty effective for at least some patients with osteoarthritis. We know what steroid injections do, we know the advantages and we know the disadvantages, particularly those of tissue damage, uh, an acute flare reaction flushing really quite common in fact after steroid injection and rarely a risk of sepsis or anaphylaxis although the latter is probably due to the local anaesthetic rather than the steroid itself. In recent years though the last maybe three four perhaps five if you count work done in Japan and America and there's been a lot of interest in using artificial synovial fluid hence the name visco supplements. Synovial fluid is both viscous and elastic depending on what job it's performing in the joint at the time. Fiscal supplements are ways of replacing the missing synovial fluid and we know that osteoarthritic joints um, fail to produce enough synovial fluid and the stuff they do produce is too thin and too watery to be particularly effective any longer. But um, how do they work? Well we used to think that visco supplements simply put back oil into the creaky old uh, joint, but in fact in the last year, 18 months perhaps, there's been a lot of new breakthrough stuff discovered about what actually happens inside an osteoarthritic joint. Um, so the pathology of OA has developed a lot, or our knowledge of the concepts have developed a lot. We know that there are many more so-called gap junctions between the chondrocytes in osteoarthritic synovium. We know that there's communication changes that happen between these cells. And we know that enzyme activity, particularly metallopropylase uh, enzyme activity, is greatly increased, uh, as is the action of interleukin, uh, an interferon-like molecule inside uh, the joint and in the cartilage itself. So lots going on there that we weren't previously aware of. We now know from looking at uh, both Hyalgan and Synvisc and most of the others uh, in different ways that these visco supplements actually have a much greater role than simply being oil. Um, they seem to restrict pain triggering molecules. They interfere with MMP production by suppressing the interferon like interleukin molecules. They inhibit the gap junction communication. Uh, they probably improve the viability of damaged or injured chondrocytes. And more importantly, they actually seem to be able to increase the production of normal hyaluronic acid, normal synovial fluid content. Um, from the existing and remaining synovial sites. So there's a lot going on there, a lot of useful actions. So who can benefit? Well, definitely the elderly um, across the whole spectrum of arthritis from severe to, to mild. Younger people with mild or moderate osteoarthritis who are not going to get benefit from uh, operations at, at their age. Uh, and also the late stage ones who really can't or couldn't tolerate uh, joint replacement surgery. Um, Good for patients with multiple morbidities, good for people who can't take or tolerate oral anti-inflammatories uh, and maybe in the cutting edge sense um, they can use them as chondrocyte sparing agents after sports injury, especially in the meniscus or cruciate deficient knee and there's work amongst high level athletes in the States uh, using it in fact as preventative treatment, particularly for those who run marathons or ultra marathon distances. So um, lots of interesting stuff, uh, lots of uh, new concepts and certainly a cutting edge therapy to be very aware of.